1440p resolution gaming is the sweet spot. It looks better than 1080p, but it's not as high demanding or as expensive as 4K resolution. So if you want to buy a new gaming PC to play at 1440p on high to ultra settings, this video is going to be for you. I'll show you three different gaming PC builds for three different budgets. And you will also see the level of performance that you can get with each PC at 1440p resolution, both in high demanding games and in esports shooters such as Fortnite, Valorant and other type of games. That way, if you end up buying one of these PCs, you know what to expect. The link to all of these systems will be down below in the video description. My name is Valentino and with that being said, let's start. With the first one, we have the cheapest one on the list and this is the good 1440p 165 plus FPS on average gaming PC. The reason why it's called like that is because it's going to average more than 165 FPS in esports shooters, even more than 240 FPS in some games. But I will get to the level of performance overall in a second. Before doing that, I want to show you the components. This PC is under $1,000 and it comes with the i5-12400F, which is a great mid-range CPU. And right now it's going for just $110, which is an insane discount. I've never seen this CPU going this low before. So this is a great deal. Then the graphics card, which is the most important component when it comes to gaming, is the RX 6800. This one is great for 1440p resolution gaming on high to ultra settings. But as I said before, I will get to the level of performance in just a moment. Then you get an aftermarket CPU cooler, which is not really necessary. You can get away with the stock cooler from Intel, but getting an aftermarket CPU cooler for just $19 is going to make the experience better because the temps are going to be lower and also is going to be more quiet. Then you get a B660M motherboard. Here you get a one terabyte MEME SSD, which is the sweet spot for gaming. Then you get 32 gigs of RAM, which makes it not only a great gaming PC, but it's also amazing in terms of streaming performance. So if you want to do streaming, this system is going to be perfect. Now, in terms of gaming performance, on a 12 game average from TechSpot in very high demanding titles, the RX 6800 was able to average 84 FPS on average, which is an amazing number considering the type of games that are being tested here, by the way, on high to ultra settings. Then, if we are talking about esports shooters like Fortnite, you can expect well over 200 plus FPS on average, even more than 240 FPS in performance mode or competitive settings depending on the area in the map. And then in easier to run games like Valorant or CS2, you can expect well over 240 FPS all the time. So you can buy a 165 Hertz 1440p monitor, or if you have more money, go with a 240 Hertz one. Then for the case, you get the Fantex XT Pro Ultra, which looks amazing, has four RGB pre-installed fans. In my opinion, this one is one of the best looking cases at this price point and is also great in terms of airflow, which is the main point in the case. But honestly, having four pre-installed fans is a lifesaver, trust me, for two reasons. The first reason is that aftermarket fans can become quite expensive as you add them yourself. And then the second reason is because you don't have to install them yourself. So this is a win-win situation. I love this case. And then for the power supply, we have the NZXT C750. This is a 750 watt power supply, A tier rated, meaning that it's going to be the best quality out there. And you have some room for improvement in case you want to upgrade your CPU to something more powerful down the line, or maybe you want to upgrade your GPU to something better in the future. The total price for this system to be exact is $865 when I'm recording this video. Remember prices change very fast so maybe when you're watching this the price is different so I highly recommend you checking the latest pricing and availability from the links in the description. With the next one we have the better 1440p gaming PC and in my opinion this one is the best value in the entire market when talking about 1440p resolution and the reason why I say that is because here you get the Ryzen 5 7600 which is the current CPU that this system right here has and it's an amazing 6 core 12 thread processor from the AM5 platform and because you get this CPU and this is a relatively new platform it means that down the line if you want to upgrade your CPU to a new CPU from AMD maybe this year or the next one or maybe in two years, the platform is going to be the same, meaning that when you replace your CPU, you will not have to replace the entire motherboard, which otherwise would be more expensive 
and more building time for you. Well, and in terms of performance, the Ryzen 5 7600 is top tier for the price that you are paying. Here you can expect well over 240 plus FPS on average in eSports shooters, potentially 300 plus FPS depending on the game and depending on the settings. And the reason why this system is so powerful is because of the graphics card, the RX 7900 GRE. In terms of gaming performance with the 7900 GRE, you can expect over 100 FPS on average in high tool trust settings in high demanding titles from the same test I've mentioned before. Really one of the best GPUs in terms of performance at 1440p and you get 16 gigs of VRAM which means that it's a very future proof graphics card for 1440p. So if you want to play high demanding AAA titles in the future, this one is going to be ideal as well in the next few years. For the rest of the components, you get the same aftermarket CPU cooler and same 1TB of SSD. Then you get a B650M Pro RS motherboard and then you get 32 gigs of DDR5 memory instead of DDR4, 6000 MHz CL30 timings, once again, amazing for not only gaming but also for content creation, productivity work and streaming at the same time. Then you get an 850 watt power supply from Be Quiet. This one is A tier rated as well. And since you get 850 watts, you can upgrade your graphics card up to the RTX 4080 Super or RX 7900 XTX, both 4K GPUs, and you can also upgrade, of course, your CPU up to a Ryzen 7 7800 3D. The total price for this system is $1180 when I'm recording this video and this one is not only great for 1440p but you can also play at 4K if you lower the graphics settings to medium or high depending on the game or if you are planning on using the upscaler FSR on this case at 4K then you can expect 60 plus FPS on average or even more once again depending on the game and depending on the settings. And here you have another alternative for the graphics card in case you want to go with an Nvidia graphics card and that is the RTX 4070 Super, which is slightly faster when it comes to rasterized gaming performance, but you get the Nvidia feature set, which means that you get a better level of ray tracing, you get DLSS, which is the better upscaler. So if you're going to be playing at 4K and you want to play with DLSS or FSR, this is going to be an advantage, especially though at 1440p where DLSS has a clear advantage advantage over FSR, it looks better. So if you want to go with an Nvidia GPU, go with the 4070 Super, just know two things. The first one is that it's more expensive and the total price for this system, if you swap the graphics card to a 4070 Super, it's going to be around 1260 bucks when I'm recording this video. And then the second thing that you need to know is that this one has 12 gigs of VRAM and not 16, so it's not as future proof. So if you want to play the latest high demanding titles in the next few years, keep in mind that 12 gigs of VRAM might might not be enough, but we don't know yet, of course. But if you are okay with dropping the graphic settings in the future in AAA titles from ultra to something like high or medium to high, then the 40 cent super is a still a great option. And then we have the best gaming PC build for 1440p resolution. This one is going to achieve the highest FPS possible with great features. And in my opinion, this is a beautiful system. And before showing you this PC, I want to say that if you are finding valuable information in this video, you like and subscribe as it's going to help the channel grow a lot. So thank you for the support if you end up doing that. Now, the reason why this system is the best one in terms of 1440p resolution, and of course you can play at 4K if you want to, is because of the CPU and GPU combo. Here you get the fastest CPU in the market in the Ryzen 7 7800 XUD, and you get, in my opinion, the best graphics card in the market for 1440p. And I'm talking about the RTX 4070 Ti Super. This CPU and GPU combo will allow you to play at 360 plus FPS on average when it comes to eSports shooters and then on high demanding titles I will tell you in a second. Here you get a different aftermarket CPU cooler because the 7800 3D is a bit more beefy than the 7600 so the Thermal Ride Peerless Assassin is going to be all that you need and then you get a Gigabyte B650 Aorus Elite AX for the motherboard which will allow you to basically upgrade to the fastest and beefiest CPUs from AMD down the line in the next few years because as you know right now the 7800 3D has the crown 
as the best gaming CPU. Then you get the same 32 gigs of DDR5 memory. Then you get two terabytes of SSD instead of one terabyte, meaning that you get more storage. Once again, if you need more than two terabytes down the line, you can operate pretty easily anyway. Then you get a deep cool case. This one, in my opinion, is the best looking case in the entire market. And it's the deep cool CH560, has four principal fans as well. The price is very decent at $85, but in my opinion, those RGB fans with that front mesh panel, I think it looks amazing. And honestly, you are going to be very happy with the level of airflow from this case. Then you get the same 850 watt power supply from Be Quiet in high demanding titles on high to ultra settings. Here you can expect over 120 FPS on average, which is an insane number. And then if you want to play at 4K high to ultra settings in high demanding games, then you can expect over 70 FPS or even more if you turn on DLSS. The total price for this system is 1750 bucks, so it's the most expensive in this list. But if you are looking to buy the best of the best for 1440p, I do believe that this one is the best one. You have another alternative for the graphics card as well from AMD in the RX 7900 XT. It is $100 cheaper and it's going to give you about the same gaming performance. So if you are not going to be using DLSS and you don't care about ray tracing or having a GPU that's better, for example, for content creation applications in general, the 7900 XTX for pure price to performance for gaming is one of the best graphics cards for 1440p so you can consider that one and you end up saving a hundred dollars more so if you go with the 7900 XT let me recap it for you you get basically the same gaming performance even slightly faster and the total price is going to be around 1650 bucks instead of 1750 and then if you have more money to spend then I recommend you choosing the RX 7900 XTX for the graphics card in the same PC if you make this upgrade the price is going to be around $1858 but I only recommend you making this upgrade if you are going to eventually upgrade to 4k resolution or you already have a 4k monitor and you are looking to play at that resolution. If you have a 1440p resolution, the 7900 XTX is a still a great graphics card and you will be achieving around 140 plus FPS when talking about 1440p ultra settings in high demanding games. So in my opinion, it's a bit of an overkill, but of course, if you want even higher FPS, this one is going to be great. Let's keep in mind that it's even more expensive at $1850. And then if you're looking for a gaming PC, but you are not looking to build it yourself, maybe you are debating and you end up going with a pre build PC instead because you just don't want to go through the process of building it, then you need to be careful because there are some pre-built PCs in the market that are amazing, but others that not so much and you need to avoid these scams. For that reason, I highly recommend you watching my video on the best pre-built gaming PCs of the month for every budget and every resolution. As I said before, that video will be right there in the top right of the screen. And if you need personal PC help, you can join my PC community from the top link in the description. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for the support and I will see you on the next one.